welcome to my world. I'm Alexa Fanchette and today we're going to talk about how do you know if you're ready for a relationship. I think you know you're ready for a relationship when you know who you are and you know what you want. It's really important to have a strong sense of self, to have your own identity because it is so easy to lose yourself getting wrapped up in another person and it's so unhealthy. You are a whole person with wants and needs and desires and your needs and your wants and desires matter and they need to be met in your relationship. So you need to know who you are in order for that to happen. Of course, we're gonna evolve and change and grow naturally, that's life, but you need to know who you are at your core is vital. You need to have your own life, your own identity, your own hobbies. It is not healthy to make somebody your whole world because if and when it ends, you're going to be absolutely devastated and not know what to do. So you never want to be that codependent on someone to the point where if things didn't work out, you would be destroyed. There's a difference between being hurt and just being completely unraveled. And that's not what you want. Another key component knowing that you're ready for a relationship is being incredibly self-aware. You want to know your strengths. You want to know your areas of opportunity. Be honest with yourself. It's okay to have flaws. It's okay to have weaknesses. We all have them. It's not about not having them. It's about what you choose to do about them that counts. You also want to be aware of your current relationships and how they impact your life. Your relationship with your friends, your relationship with your family, how you interact with your associates especially your parents. Your parents have a great deal of influence on who you end up marrying and why you choose who you choose. Because a lot of times we end up either mirroring our parents' relationships with each other or end up, some people say you marry your parents or you end up with somebody that's similar to them. So you do need to make sure that your relationships are healthy. You also want to be aware of your love languages. Your love language is important. You're not going to feel loved if you don't know how to be loved. And if you don't know how you feel the most loved, how are you going to expect that from somebody else? So for example, my love languages, my top two are touch and gifts. You also want to be aware of your core values and what's important to you in a relationship. So for me, it's transparency. I do not want you to be honest with me. I don't want to have to ask you a question for me to know an answer to it. Like, I want you to be upfront. Babe, I did this last night. I was with X, Y, and Z. This happened. Just be completely and utterly transparent. If I have to ask you about it, it's an issue. Also, a big core value of mine is respect. Respect is a lot. Like, if you don't respect me, we will not work. The relationship will end inevitably. Another key component to being ready for a relationship is knowing your worth and loving yourself. You need to love yourself completely. You are worthy of love. You are worthy of it all. You are worthy. And your worth is absolutely non-negotiable. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be with someone that loves you. You deserve to be with somebody that respects you. It is dangerous to go into a relationship with low self-esteem because nine times out of ten you're either going to self-sabotage that situation or you're going to end up with somebody who's going to take advantage of the fact that you have low self-esteem. So you need to know your worth before you go into a relationship. You need to know your value and what you bring to a relationship. You are an asset. You are a commodity. You are adding to somebody. Regardless if you know it or not, you are. So like for me, I know that I am endlessly loving and nurturing and that I know how to bring the best out of people. So whoever I end up with is going to be incredibly lucky if I do say so myself <laughs> because of the fact that I'm going to be able to give that to them. So you need to realize what you bring and also when you know your self-worth, it makes it so much easier to set realistic standards and expectations of what you want out of somebody else and out of your relationship ultimately. Another key factor of being ready for a relationship is being healed from your past traumas, whether it be emotional, physical, psychological, abandonment issues, whatever it is, you need to be healed from that. 
It is not your fault that that person hurt you, but it is your responsibility to fix it. That person may never apologize. That person may never make amends, and that is okay. You have to focus on yourself and your healing and being happy. You're responsible for your life. You're responsible for your happiness. You're responsible for your growth. You and only you are responsible for those things, and that is what you need to focus on. Some people enter a relationship thinking that the other person is going to fix them, or if only they can be in a relationship, they can feel loved, and it's going to make all their pain and past traumas go away. That is not how that works. You're just going to be bringing excess baggage, excess trauma, and ruin your relationship because you're not healed and because you're not ready for it. No one is responsible for fixing you, but you. And also, you're not responsible for fixing the other person. They need to fix themselves. You are not responsible for fixing them. Do not go out here and find yourself a project, ladies and gentlemen. No, they are responsible for them. You add value to them, but you do not fix them. Another key component of knowing you're ready for a relationship is knowing that you don't need one. You don't need somebody to complete you. You are a whole human being. If you're getting in a relationship because you feel like something's missing in your life, you need to look deeper within yourself. And you also don't want to get into a relationship because you're lonely or that you're seeking validation. You need to validate yourself. You need to know how amazing you are in or out of a relationship. Validate yourself. I think you know you're ready for a relationship when you want one versus needing one. If you need to be in a relationship, then you probably need to work on yourself because that's not healthy to need a relationship. You should want a relationship. You should want to add a value to somebody in their life. You shouldn't need that. If you need that, then you need to work on yourself. So that's all I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Like, subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see from me. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah!